Uh, in previous videos, we have discussed matrix spaces and several examples also we have discussed. So let us discuss this new concept norm. To define norm, we need to have some vector space V, which is defined on R or C, set of real numbers or set of complex numbers. So norm is basically a function which is from V to R. Okay. And it should satisfy four conditions. So let us discuss those four conditions. The first condition is, let me write here, norm of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to v. That means for every element of that vector space v, norm should be non-negative. The second condition is norm of x is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0. That means norm of any element is 0 only if that element is 0, then only we will have norm 0. Third condition, norm of alpha x, okay, where alpha is any scalar, scalar that means we have taken element from that R or C, get it? So in that case, we can take that scalar outside, but it will come with a mod. That means we will have mod alpha norm x i should mention for all x belongs to v and alpha is a scalar right and the fourth condition so this is well known that is we call it as a triangle inequality it is norm x plus y is less than or equal to norm x plus norm y right and this is true for all x y belongs to v that means if this function satisfy all four properties, then we can declare it is a norm on V. And we call it as norm comma V is a norm linear space. Let me mention here, then, then V comma norm is called as, is called as norm linear space, okay. See, in next videos, we are going to discuss few examples of this norm linear spaces. Okay, make a screenshot of it. After that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.